Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to use the pickup simulations inside the GTRS guitar. So um, for those of you that already know, the GTRS guitar allows you to simulate other pickups. Okay, we already know that the GTRS guitar has amp simulations built into it, it has uh, effects simulations, it has cabinet simulations, but it also gives you the ability to simulate other uh, pickups, okay? So the way, you, the way you're gonna do that is the first thing you're gonna wanna do is turn on the GTRS app because you basically manipulate everything in the GTRS guitar by using the app. You don't need the app every time you use the guitar, but when you wanna modify certain parameters, you're going to need to use the app. If you wanna just select between four different sounds, you can do that by pressing the super knob button, but to actually manipulate the different sounds and do different things, you're gonna to need to use the app. So we're gonna go ahead and launch the app. So um, we're gonna turn on the guitar, we're gonna turn on the super knob. You're gonna see it light up different colors and then it's gonna go solid. And once it goes solid, then you just hit connect on the actual app and you'll see the name of your guitar pop up on the left hand side. You're going to click on your guitar and watch it connect. 15%, 41%, 50, 60, 70. Almost there. Okay, once it connects, you'll see the green check mark. Um, what you're going to want to do is click on this little gear icon over here. So you're gonna click on that little gear icon and it's gonna bring up a picture of your guitar. Now when it brings up a picture of the actual guitar, that because it knows what gu guitar you've purchased um, through the software inside the guitar. What you wanna do is look at this area right here <clears throat> where it says 60 Strat for me. This shows you that I actually have pickup simulation turned on. I'm gonna actually click on it. It's gonna bring me into this screen where I can select my different pickups, but this little button right here is the button that you're gonna to wanna to click near the upper uh, left-hand corner to turn pickup simulation on or off. So right now it's on, I'm gonna turn it off. You can see it's not lit up anymore. And when I turn it off, I'm just getting the sound of the GTRS pickups right now. Um, if you notice over here on the right-hand side, I have different pickups that I can select. Right now I have it set to 60 Strat, but it's not using the 60 Strat. It's actually using the standard GTRS um, pickups that are in here right now. So when I actually do my pickup selector switch and I go from my uh, bridge down to my middle, you'll see that over here um, it switched down to uh, the Roman numeral 2 saying that I'm in my middle pickup position or my second pickup position. When I switch down here I'm just using my bridge pickup position right now. So we'll switch up to the middle position and back up to number three which is the neck position. So now the only pickup that's being used is the neck position pickup. And I do not have pickup simulation on so I'm just getting the sound of the GTRS. If I switch down this is theoretically both pickups on at the same time. So you get that kind of out of phase um, on just these two pickups. And then here's my bridge pickup. I'm going to quickly turn my microphone down so you don't hear the pick attack coming through this microphone because I'm using a... Uh, condenser microphone and it's picking up a lot of ambient noise in the room. Okay, so I just flipped through some of the pickup sounds, pickup, different pickup combinations. Now I'm actually going to turn on, I'm going to switch up to my neck pickup. I'm going to turn on the pickup simulation. And now I am using the 60 Strat sound. Again, I'm going to turn my microphone down.
Okay, I tried to show you some of the different sounds that you can um, get when you just kind of turn it on or off. Um, again, by hearing the ambient noise from this microphone, it makes it a little bit difficult to hear when I have the microphone up. But I'm just going to go through some of these different sounds. We're going to switch over to the GTRS original tone. It's pretty much what it sounds like when you have it off. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to switch over to 58 Les Paul. I'm going to switch over to the acoustic auditorium. Should be a noticeable difference. which is a very thin tone. I still got my amp simulation and everything on, but I'm kind of simulating an acoustic guitar. Let me actually switch over to a clean sound. So that's an acoustic sound. I'm gonna switch over to my 60 Strat. Okay. Sounds kind of thin a little bit, mainly because you, I'm picking up the sound of this microphone. Okay, so you're kind of getting the idea by me going through some of these sounds. Um, keep in mind that when you change the actual parameters of these pickup sounds, you see how I can adjust the gain, I can adjust the bass. Those don't change when you switch to a new pickup sound. So, unfortunately, um, like for example, I have it set to where I, when I have it on 60 Strat, I have a little bit more gain. I have about 4 dB added of gain and about plus 5 of the bass. If you notice when I switch over to like a telly, it's going to be the same thing. That, that does not change. You see what I'm saying? So it stays. These are not affected. These uh, tone, the, the treble, the mid, the shift, the, uh, the bass and the gain, they're not affected by you just switching. So they don't, they don't stay with the sound of the pickup. I think they should um, improve the software a little bit to where whenever you switch to a different pickup uh, uh, simulation those settings should change as well but they don't as for right now okay so that's basically how to go through and pick different pickups the one other thing that you need to know is you can use your super knob on your guitar to where you press it instead of going between different presets um, you can have it turn on or off this super knob I mean, I'm sorry, turn on or off this actual pickup capture. So what does that mean? That means, for example, say that I turn my pickup capture off. Let's, let's turn it off right now. Um, I, actually, I'm sorry, let's set it to the auditorium guitar. So we can see what it sounds like just with the, um, like an acoustic sound. Now we're going to turn it off. You notice that's a big difference in the tone. When I have it on or have it off. Suppose I want to just press this knob and have it turn that pickup simulation on or off, which means I don't want to use this knob to switch between different presets because maybe I want to use my foot pedal to switch between different presets and I don't need my knob for that. So if you don't need your knob for that, then all you're going to do is switch, um, go into your settings of the GTRS guitar. So 
as you can see, I clicked up here in the upper left hand, upper left hand corner, and I clicked on the word GTRS, and then I'm going to click over here on the gear icon, and I'm going to bring up these this uh, settings menu, and I'm going to click on global right here, click on global, and then I'm going to go down to super knob mode, and when you click on super knob mode. You can see right here it's highlighted, it's set for preset selection, which is switching between the four different presets. I want it just to turn the pickup simulation on or off. They have this set to guitar sim switch. I have no idea why. I think they should change that name to, um, to uh, pickup uh, simulation or whatever. It just says guitar sim switch. And it says tone capture, GTR. That's not very descriptive. So GTRS guys, if you're listening, maybe think about changing this right here to say um, to say uh, pickup simulation because that's more reflective of what it would actually be. So we're gonna click on that. What that's gonna do is it's gonna make my super knob just toggle between turning on the uh, pickup simulation. So now that I have that set. I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to either click this GTRS up here or click the gear icon down here. I think I'll click the GTRS over here. Brings me back. I'm going to click the GTRS again. Brings me back here. And now I'm going to leave it on this screen right now so you can see that when I press my super knob button, it's going to turn this simulation on or off. So I'm going to press it. And you see the simulation is on. So I'm going to hit it again and turn it off. So that's just the regular GTRS pickups as opposed to having that simulation on, which is the auditorium guitar. As you see right here, I have it set, the, the, Brit, the uh, neck pickup is set for the auditorium guitar. And if I hit my super knob again, I'm turning it off. Now mind you, that, that's, um, once I have the pickup simulation on, when I switch to another pickup, it's whatever, that, that I mean, when I switch to another position, that position will be whatever I have um, it set to, you know, over here on the right hand side, whatever pickup simulation I have set. So for the in-between, for the second pickup selector, for the second position, I have it set to 60 strap. And for the first position, I have it set to 60 strat. So I'm going to take it back to 60 strat for my third position. So I can put it back the way that it was. And I'm gonna set my knob back to just doing presets. Come in here, global, super knob, set it to preset. So now, Whenever I actually hit the knob here, I'm selecting between different preset sounds. Okay, so that's how you use the pickup simulation inside the GTRS guitar. Hopefully that was helpful to you. Peace.